Right here I have this multifunctional stick vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you all the parts and then we're gonna test it out. All right, I have everything laid out. This is everything that it came with minus the user manual. So I'm just gonna start over here on this side. This is the actual charging dock. This is what you're going to attach to your wall if you decide to do that. This is where you're going to hang the vacuum so that it can charge while you're not using it and it's completely charged up and ready to go when you are ready to use it. So that is really nice. It does just have a standard wall plug-in and plenty of cord depending on how close or far your plug-in is. I also do like that this comes with a little cleaning brush for cleaning the little hard to reach places inside your vacuum cleaner as well as a hair remover tool. Um, to use on this rung right here. Right here is the actual battery itself. It's going to stay attached. There's no need to take it off because it does have a charging dock. It does have an extra HEPA filter right here. There already is one in the main part of the vacuum, um, but there is an extra one here. This is the actual motor of the vacuum right here. It is really lightweight and really ergonomic as well, which is nice. To turn it on, you're just gonna push this trigger right here, and then the battery is gonna fit right on the bottom. I just wanted to show you the little canister that's gonna hold all of your dirt and debris. So you just twist to unlock. There is a little picture here showing lock and unlock in case you do forget. And then once you open this up, you can just take out the filter right here and you can dump out your canister that way or clean out your canister. Uh, but there also is this little place right over here that easily opens up. So you can literally just hold this over a garbage can flick this part open, empty out your canister and be done. You don't even have to remove the filter, which is really nice. And inside this filter, you can unlock the little HEPA filter and remove that as well so that you can clean this first filter here. It's just really nice to have access to each part of the vacuum cleaner without any hassle. Now that that's all fit back in here, just gonna lock this into place. Like I was explaining before, if you wanna just easily remove all the dirt and grime and dust from inside your vacuum cleaner, you just hold this part over a garbage and then open this little piece and everything will fall out. You can make sure it's all cleaned out and shut it again and you're ready to fill it up. So this being the main piece so this being the motor and the main piece of the vacuum, you can attach all of the different attachments directly to this piece, or you can add the extension and add everything to the end of the extension. So I just wanna show you an example. We have this little piece right here, which is both the dual little brush tool, as well as this piece to get hard to reach places. That connects right to the end of this part of the vacuum. You can see so that you can easily get corners of stairs. I think that would be perfect for that. And then to release, you just push down the button and release that. Same thing with this mini rolling vacuum. You can attach that directly to this motor piece here and you can use that. This piece right here does rotate so you can easily do something like stairs or if you're vacuuming your couch, it'll be perfect for that because it still does have this roller here. And then we have this little extension here. You can use it at the medium length, just like it is, or you can unlock this little piece and pull it out. And this is as far as it goes out. This is going to extend to be a regular handheld vacuum size. And then to shut it, you just shut it just using this middle piece right here. So we can add that extension on here and then add any of those pieces that I'd already put on to the end of the extension and use that as long as you would like to use it. You can also use this large vacuum brush on the bottom of your extension stick. Then you can use this more as a standard handheld stick vacuum and this is nice and glides and you can turn easily, which is great. This also has a light right here in the front so that you can see in dark corners of the house. So in order to put the battery pack on, you just fit it right in here and it glides really nicely to remove the battery pack, which you are, are not gonna need to remove it. You just push this red button and it slides right off. I'm gonna go ahead and get this battery pack fully charged up so we can try this out. All right, now that I have this fully charged up and ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and check the suction by putting some crumbs on the countertop here. And I'm just, just gonna attach this piece right here to the actual vacuum itself. All right, let's test the suction. I'm just gonna be using some of this little rice cereal. It's very standard to find things around this size on the ground. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this around. Oh, 
Okay, perfect. That suction was better than I expected it to be. I feel like it got not only all of the little rice cereal, but all of the crumbs that were on the counter as well. I really like that when you push the button to turn it off, it kind of does a second of really high suction. That way it doesn't release some of the things that it might have just sucked up. Okay, and then when you're ready, you can just dump this over the garbage and just release this piece and dump everything right back out and you're ready to go for the next time. Now that we know that the suction is good, I'm gonna go ahead and test out the maneuverability of this. I just attached the extra arm here as well as the motorized brush on the bottom. And so I'm just gonna put this on the ground and extend this to the full length. Okay, extended to the full length. This is exactly the height that I like it, but you could definitely make it a little bit smaller depending on how short or tall you like to carry it. Okay, you could see that maneuverability was really, really nice and it was seamless for me just controlling it. It was just really nice and easy. I do like that it has that little light on there. I don't know if you saw that. Overall, I'm really impressed by this. I like how light this is to carry and I feel like all the accessories work really well with it.